Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make these DIY money saving jars out of mason jars and give you a little peek into how our family is saving more money this year. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for popping in to say hi and seeing what DIYs I'm up to today. Today I want to show you how to make these really cool little money saving jars for kids. I made them out of mini mason jars and I have one for giving money, one for saving money and then I also have a jar for spending money. This is a great way for your kids to save, spend, and give their money. You can decide what ratio of money goes into which jar and kind of teach them a little bit about how to manage money. This year, we are on a mission to save more money. To be honest, the past few years, we haven't been very good with managing our money. It's really hard sometimes to put away that little bit to save. So this year, one of my goals for 2017 is to save more money for our family. One of the things we would love to do is go on a trip together. We have not gone anywhere out of Canada together as a family, so I would love to save some money for that. I am so excited to be working with ATB Prosper. They have a really fabulous online system where you can set up an investment account. It's so easy. I've done it. It was really simple. It was all online. And I set up a TFSA tax-free savings account for myself, for our family, so that I can put a little bit away every month and save up for a big trip for our family. So that's how we are saving money this year and these little DIY money saving jars are how I'm going to help teach our kids to save money as well. Let me show you how to make these, let's get started. To start this project I made three labels out of vinyl and my vinyl cutting machine. If you don't have a vinyl cutting machine like mine, you can just purchase some stick on letters and you'll get a really similar effect. So I made three labels, spend, save and give. I found these small mason jars and then I simply attached my labels to the front of my mason jars, kind of vertically centered on them. For my custom labels using my vinyl cutter and my vinyl, I used the font Cooper. Next, take either some craft foam or some felt, I had the best success with craft foam, and trace the top of your mason jar lid onto the foam and then cut out that circle. Then fold your circle in half and then cut out a little notch just like this with some scissors. You could measure it out first or just kind of eyeball it like I have if you're not too scared of being a little bit imprecise. And then do that for all three of the jar lids. And then you slip this circle with the notch inside of the lid top and screw it onto your jar. So to put money in, your child can just slip it in that little notch on top. And to take money out, you just have to unscrew the lid. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make these really simple little spend, save, give money jars. We put them on little A's nightstand and we have all of the lids different colors so that she knows which one is which. And then I just went and taught her about saving, spending, and giving money. And we decided how much money would go in each jar every time she got her allowance money that week. I'm looking forward to experimenting with these money jars with my kids and with the DIY investment tool from ATB Prosper. And I'm gonna share my experiences on my blog at the end of the month. I'll keep you posted. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed that DIY. Thanks again to ATB Prosper for sponsoring this video and for helping me remember how important it is to save money for our family. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this DIY, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.